Hey, what's up guys? RC and SC here today. Guys, I have made a lot of videos about this WL Toys 12428, and I get a lot of questions about one thing that I've never done a video about, and that is hub extenders. People want to know kind of what they do, what they are, how to make sure you get the right one. Well guys, I'm going to go ahead and answer all those questions in a very short video today, so don't you go anywhere. All right, guys, thanks for hanging around. We're gonna to try to get through this really quick, but I am gonna to try to answer your questions as best as I can. Let's talk about the stock hub adapter, okay? This is a hub adapter. It's just a little hexagon plastic piece. And what it does is it goes over the axle, and there's a little pin right here that goes through the axle. And on this piece right here, there's a little cross shape. It doesn't matter which way it goes, but these, these slots will actually engage that pin. It locks in, and then what you do, is you put your wheel on and that hub adapter will engage into this hex female piece inside of the wheel and then when you put it on you'll feel it lock in and you'll put your nut on and that locks the wheel to the axle now before I move on I want you to notice something right here between this steering rod and the wheel I have about a quarter inch of clearance that's going to be important as to why we are going to need hub extenders so let me take this stock wheel off and the stock adapter off and let me get well, actually, let me put this back on so we're going to demonstrate why we need a hub extender. And that is, this is an aftermarket wheel, and it's quite a bit bigger than the stock wheel. If you see, it's a bigger, it's taller, and it's a lot wider. So I'm going to try to put this right back on the stock hub adapter. And as you see, I can't, I can't actually get it all the way on because it's hitting the steering linkage right here on the inside. The wheel is just too big, too wide. And even if it did fit, if I turn this all the way and it load up the suspension it's actually going to hit right here on the body so to solve that what we need is a hub extender so I'm going to take this piece off and at the same time guys I'm going to show you exactly how this works now this is a hub extender let me put my little jack stand under here and you have the same little slots each way it doesn't matter but it's this is 20 millimeters long as opposed to this being about five millimeters and obviously it's going to extend it out as the name implies and it's going to engage into that pin as well and as you can see, once I put the wheel on, now it sets it way out from the tie rod, from the steering rod. Now I have plenty of clearance here, and if I turn it, I have plenty of clearance between it and the body. Now that's the main reason you would want a hub extender. So let's talk about how this actually goes together. Now you see that this piece engages into the wheel. If I can get it back out, there we go. This will go on. And this piece right here is like an extended nut. Since the, since the hub extender comes out so far, the threads are up inside here, so they don't even stick out, so you couldn't get a nut on it. So what this piece does is actually goes up inside there and will engage those threads, and then you can lock the wheel down. So it basically goes like this. Let me show you really quick here. You put your wheel on, lock it into the hub. Your nut will go up inside, if I can show you like that. And then you'll just simply tighten that down until it engages the threads nice and tight. And once you lock that down, then you have all the clearance that you need. That's the main reason you would need hub extenders. You can actually just put them on if you want because they obviously look cool. They widen the stance, which lowers the center of gravity, which helps keep it from tipping over. So those are all advantages, obviously. So let's talk about how to be sure that you can buy the right one for your needs. What you need to do is determine how much space you need to come out to get the proper clearance. This is 20 millimeters. I kind of figured it would be about 15 and 15 millimeter length is available. I just wanted to go a little bit wider just simply because I just wanted that, you know, a little extra stability because this car is very tippy anyway. The second thing you need to know is what thread size this is. Guys, I can tell you already, I already know it's four millimeters, but just put some calipers on it. I'm getting about four millimeters. So that's four millimeter metric thread. That's important too because this piece screws onto it, so it has to be the right thread or else it won't work. Not all cars are four, four millimeter. I have a WL Toys A959B. That axle is only three millimeters, so this particular hub extender would not work on that because this would be too big. So the last thing that you would probably need to know is exactly what hub you have. This is a 12 millimeter, which means this piece right here that goes up into the wheel from flat to flat is 
12 millimeters. So those are really only the three things that you need to know to buy the proper hub extender is the length that you need to come out to achieve the proper clearance, the thread size on your axle, and the hub measurement inside of the wheel. Now make sure you measure the wheel that you're going to put on it, not the stock wheel that you took off. These happen to be the same, but you could possibly get an aftermarket wheel that has a different hub size, and you need to actually buy a hub extender that will fit tightly into that. And 12 millimeters is a standard size. They also have a smaller, I think it's maybe nine or eight or something like that. And then one step up, I think it's about 17. So guys, those are the three things that you really need to focus on if you wanna buy some hub extenders to be sure that you do get the right one. Anyway, I hope I answered some questions, guys. If you have any more questions, leave them down below in the comments. But until the next one, guys, appreciate you watching. Talk to you later.